Hey everyone, welcome back. It's just going to be a quick video on the grade crossing system I've been working on. I've got it all installed. Uh, again, I'm using the Signalogic Systems um, CR2 grade crossing controller. I'm using his bell module as well as the uh, sensors that he offers, which are really nice. They fit nicely between the, uh, the ties here in HO scale. But uh, yeah, let's give you guys a closer look. Here's a closer look at the actual sensors. You can see them there between the ties right before the road. Um, they are shaped really nicely. They fit really well between the ties and a really thin profile where you don't even have to really drill into the roadbed, uh, just the two holes for the wires. Um, but you can see the three here that um, are at the road the center section and uh, I've got a couple more on the lead in uh, right here and there's another one right there uh, since this is industrial trackage I really don't need a far or a, a, a long approach since trains are kind of creeping near at you know 10 miles an hour and this is kind of a stop and protect uh, crossing so you know the main and the runaround here Cruise will approach. I'll have these uh, sensors actually marked on the side of the rail like I've seen on the prototype. So you'll approach and uh, activate the, the crossing and then creep up and uh, this way the, the, the bells and lights will be on all the way across um, as you cross the road. And here on the other side you could see I've got the two more at the road and there's one right here and another one right there uh, for the um, what, he, what they call the east and west uh, circuit. The track that goes here into the uh, industry doesn't have the approach sensors, um, only the ones right at the road. Um, since uh, there'll be some switching going on and to prevent the uh, sensors or the, the crossing to be going off uh, too early, um, you'll have to really kind of come right up to the street to get them to activate. An interesting detail I've seen um, is this uh, amber uh, light that comes on and flashes when the circuit is activated. I've seen this mostly on, you know, slow, uh, slow trackage, um, I guess on maybe not protected um, road crossings here without gates, maybe just to alert the crew that the circuit has actually been activated. Um, so I've added that, I've added a little light in here, a little small amber LED with a fiber optic going up to this uh, light here, as well as this fiber optic uh, white light, more like a status light. This comes on when the circuit is, is um, powered and ready, which I'm pretty sure is what that means on the prototype. I've seen that uh, maybe for crews passing by, the maintenance away, trucks or anything that, you know, the circuit is, is good. Um, so I've added that here. Actually, when it's powered on and ready, that white light is on, um, which is a neat little little detail. A little extra work, but um, I think it was worth it. Also, I added a sugar cube speaker in here. It actually fit perfectly. Um, this is the Walther's... Uh, kit, the recently released, I guess, um, trackside equipment boxes. And this bottom piece comes out and I just kind of slid the, uh, um, the, the speaker right inside. So it's pretty crammed. I've got two lights, a lot of wires, um, and the, uh, the speaker, but it, it adds for an interesting effect. I'll kind of creep the train in here and you could see, uh, how it flashes and uh, how it sounds coming from the box. Here's a view underneath uh, with the module itself and uh, all the wires, a uh, little bit of a mess, but better than some of my previous work. Um, 
you can see all the, the orange wires are powering the center sensors um, at the road. On the right side, the blue and the green going to the left. Um, do you have a few additional lights that I added? So I have um, the lights from the uh, electrical box, the amber light actually wired into uh, the left or the right side flashing or flasher sequence for the uh, road crossing itself. So it flashes in sequence, uh, which is pretty neat. And I've seen a few videos of that actually in real life. So it's pretty neat that I was able to replicate that. Um, also the white status light is just wired into um, the 12 volt source coming in. So as soon as the module itself is powered on, the white light on the uh, electrical box will illuminate. Well, that's about it uh, for this update. Uh, one project finished. Um, spent a little extra time on some additional details, like that electrical box, but uh, again, I think it was worth it in the long run. Um, yeah, so plenty more to come. Got a lot of things uh, I've been working on, so uh, stay tuned for a few more updates. Uh, in the near future. But uh, again, everyone, thanks for watching.